Hey guys, it's Maddie 2387 we, What we're going to do today is a base design. I'm going to go through the do's and don'ts of doing a base, um, what to, how to do it. Um, obviously you're going to have to apply it to your own town hall level because I'm a town hall 8 at the moment. So what we're going to do is start again. Fresh canvas, just a few objects I haven't removed but pretty much a fresh canvas. Oh, I didn't realise they'd done that. They put they put a nice central point in there so you know where, where the centre is as well. So the first thing to determine when you're designing a base is what sort of base do you want to design. So you need to know if it's going to be a farming or a um, trophy pushing base or whichever. But I know I'm going to be doing a farming base so my town hall is going to be out of the way and that's the way it's going to be. It's because I don't need it. Um, I'm happy for people to snipe me, take some trophies that way because when I play, I play for a few hours at a time so I can uh, just get the trophies back that I lose and it means I can try and protect my resources a bit better. So the, one of the most probably underrated um, defences, defence structures that people forget about or don't think about um, unless you're, you've been playing for a while is the clan castle. Um, there's a few reasons why it's the uh, the best, um, and that's because the, 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 the well, it's all about what units you can store in it. And if you in if you're in a high level clan and you're lucky enough to get donated wizards, dragons, that sort of thing, then it can really ruin an enemy's attack if they no matter if they send in like a group of giants or a group of dragons or something, and you've got some units that are just going to go over and absolutely pummel them that they couldn't that they didn't think of then it might just completely sway the battle for you and you might end up winning so my first thing I'm going to do is put my clan castle, I'm going to put it right in the centre of my base which means it's very difficult to lure the troops so it stops people dropping like one or two barbs um, and yeah and, and luring out the troops and then lightning them or killing them it just makes it more difficult for them I'm just going to let the guys know I'm recording one second. There we go. So, for me, the next most important thing, especially at the moment, is Dark Elixir, because I'm trying to store that. I'm trying to save up to uh, get my hogs to level 4. And the other thing I don't want people to lure out is my Barbarian King. So they are definitely going to be in the middle, both of them, for me. Um, so, that's that. Now, I rate my defence you got to think of your middle of your base out. So you want things that you don't want e key defences to be destroyed in that are in the middle, um, on the outside of your base. So you want to try and protect certain ones. Now the key ones, I'd say, mortar has the highest range, and it has that red ring as well of an area where it can't defend. So getting your mortars quite centralised is key because people that start attacking from the outside of the base, the mortars can just rain down hell fury upon them and the other thing which again a lot not many people think of is the air defense so as you can see you can design your base in any which way you want now I'll advise you why I'm doing it as I go and then you can apply it to your own base um, but literally do what you want make your own design I'll just give you my thoughts and opinions Air defence in the middle is key be, um, be, and difficult to just take out with archers because it will stop, it will make people think twice about just dragon raiding you. Um, I don't know if you get dragon raided at the moment, but if you get anywhere close to crystal, um, you're going to get, you're going to feel the burn of a of a dragon raid at some stage or other. And if you can stop people trying to do it because you've got well placed air, well well placed and well upgraded air defence, then. <laughs> you're only doing yourself a favour. So what I'm going to do now, now it's very important to segregate your defences because if you've got, if someone's doing say a giant healer strategy and all they have to do is break through one compartment of wall and they can take out all your main defences then it's going to be a lot easier for them to, to, to take out those defences and then clean up the rest of your base. So you want to make them work for it basically. Obviously it's not, I mean doing walls it's immune to air because if you've got air units they can just fly over wall and hog riders can just jump wall anyway or even jump spells. But for the most part and the majority of the attacks you're going to get are going to be giants, they're going to be barbarians, they're going to be archers. 
Um, and the walls can really slow them down. It makes them use more wall breakers or less chance of those wall breakers getting in. So, yeah, that's why I would say I'd recommend doing that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, so I've already got one cannon, one mortar and one air defence right in the middle. I'm going to start putting my gold storages down because I want them to be gold for me is I can I can get elixir all the time I just keep accumulating it when I'm farming and um, difficult to spend it as well because I've done most of my elixir upgrades and you, there's a lot more gold to spend than elixir so it's more important for me to get my gold in the middle which is why I've done that so what I'm gonna do now is now that the gold's down I'm gonna put the elixir more on the outside you want to try and put your defences in a triangle if you can um, when I say your defences I mean your key ones like your airs, like your mortars, like your wizard towers to get the best coverage of the base so they can interlink as well so they can dual, dual fire on certain targets um, and get the best protection so what I'm going to do I'm going to start dropping my mortars in some form of triangle uh, let's try that one there so we've got a nice triangle going on the mortars. Next thing I'm going to do is look at the air defence and think, right, where can I have my air to get a nice triangle as well? Now, I haven't got a set base that I'm designing here, by the way. I'm sort of ad-libbing a bit. So we'll see how we go. I'm going to move you there. Now what I'm going to do... I like to have wizard towers near the gold storages. What I might do, let's have a think how I'm going to do this. Um, yeah, I might move a gold storage out and move a wizard tower in a bit closer. So I can have a wizard tower there. And what I'm going to do now is start segregating off these defences. Uh, like that. So, let's try it, let's try it. See, let's just see what happens. I'm going to leave a gap there for now. Might close it, I'm not sure. Move. Okay. There's one bit. I'm going to do, do this. Really oh, yes. hold on. How about if you drive me to the mall? I'm going to try the same down here. Except something slightly different because of the, the, way, the layout. Bum, bum, bum. Now this might not work, I might completely fail in this, so we'll, we'll see how I get on. Uh, okay. Okay. So, mortars, air. I need to start thinking about wizards. and I, Preferably I want to get my wizards close to my gold storages. So that they can provide some coverage. Huh. Just having a think. Go. Where's my last wizard tower? Where are you? Oh, it's down. Oh, wait, on about. Okay. So if that one's there, I might move this one here. Sorry, I might have just glitched my. Uh, you're only allowed a 10 minute trial on thingy, so I had to, uh, to change that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is. Um, Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm doing this live, so you're gonna maybe give it some nice time and thought. But let's uh, let's go for it. Fuck it. Come here. There we go. So this is a completely unsymmetrical base, but it doesn't really matter at this point in time. I will have an elixir towards the middle. That's it. No, I'll get that. Wizard tower over here. In there. A swap. No. Mm -hmm. I might swap that round in a, in a minute or two. What I could do is put my Tesla, one of my Teslas, over here. Have some traps next to it in that space. Hmm. There we go. Let's just start building and see what, what we end up doing. 
You never know, I might produce something magic by miracle. So once we've got our wizard towers, our mortars and the air defence down, next thing we're going to want to think about is firstly getting the rest of these storages down, which I'm going to do now. And once the storages are down, we can... I'm going to think about the cannons and arch towers. So, how do people get into this centre bit? We've got up top, we've got some protection. We need to build an extra layer of wall, and I'll have to do it off centre up here. No, that's one too high. There. So that's protected. And I can't get in. I might be able to put a Tesla in here. There we go. To protect that. Now I might start thinking about the corners, getting dropping some arch towers down to get some nice coverage over here. I've got my bottom down here, so I'll put arch tower there. Top it off with a cannon in the middle. We're cooking on gear so now. See I'm putting there's lots of air uh, select row. There's lots of areas in this where I could I, could, I can put traps, which is a good thing because a it might keep the attacker guessing. Or well, where has he put the traps? Where is where are those towers or are uh, those um, spring traps or wherever? Okay, this has come along quite nice. I'm happy with this so far. Um, what might be good now is to have an arch tower over here. If I delete. That one. Uh, no, I'll put that back. And then we'll come out one. And then this can come in. And the wall will have a cannon next to him as well. So we're going to chuck a cannon in here. There we go. What next? So we need to finish sort of the top and the right hand side. We've got two cannons and two arch towers left. Oh, sorry, three cannons and two arch towers left. So let's have a cannon at the top and an arch tower. And maybe the dark elixir drill. Let's chuck him in as well. Uh, yeah, that'll do. I'll build a bit of wall around that. And then I can bring, where's that gold, that golden cannon put down, I can bring a cannon in here. So you can see I'm sort of building the base in segments, so it's difficult for people to, to just get in and take out that one. They have to, they're going to have to work for it. And I think the last area that I'm going to do is down here to the right. Now, looking back, there's a few things I've noticed that I've done slightly a bit too vulnerable or a bit wrong but we'll uh, we'll address those in a minute this is just draft one of this base design and what I might do as well is chuck a Tesla there let's see how it goes finish at the wall here leave a little surprise in there uh, bigger surprise <laughs> I've got a little plan here. Where's my giant bomb? Get here. There you go. That's your home. Okay, so let's. <laughs> it looks rubbish. Uh, well, it's not symmetrical. I'm just thinking how I would attack it. So that air defence is vulnerable. That's a worry. That arch, that's good. That gold storage is vulnerable. Uh, this side were pretty good. The air defence is behind a, a wall. It's covered by two mortars as well. Gold storage is nice and safe. Top, we've got mortars safe. Air defence. That air defence is reasonably safe. The elixir is a bit exposed, but that's fine. I'm happy with that. So, just thinking how I can do this. I need to get some <laughs> more wall over here. This is probably the worst bloody design. 
Uh, okay. So, let's just... Let's build a bit of a trap. That's it, that's what I'll do. Oops, get off that. Let's finish this. Okay. <laughs> A bit of a decoy area. How much wall have we got? 11. Okay. Or we could go two more spaces. Select row. Move that along. Move that there. Zoom in. <laughs> okay, so let's get some gold mines inside. Add a thick layer of protection so it's protected from archers. We'll put a giant bomb where it might be vulnerable from that side. We're going to have some other artillery in there in a moment. Any other key buildings I can chuck in here now? So, might as well just do gold, some gold mines. Bum, bum. Maybe an elixir collector or two. That's it. Looks like a key place for the giant bomb in there. Maybe a couple of air mines just in case. Have one there as well. I'm going to chuck a couple of spring traps in here, a couple of bombs as well, just because it's a funnel. Uh, I'm going to do a bit of an anti hog now, a couple of spring traps in there, spring trap there, spring trap there. So I'm putting the spring traps in between the defences. So if you look at where the defences are, I've got one, two, three there, I've also got one, two there. So when hogs go in groups they have to move between defences so again between here it's putting that's putting in traps for hogs to stay from dragons um, that air defence is vulnerable don't like that hmm I might change this design slightly okay let's chuck that out chuck that out I need some wall back go away sorry it kicked me out of the game again I'm back in yeah so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select it can't select that row at all. I'm doing. I'm going to move that in. I'm going to gain myself some pieces of wall because I need them. I've got three. Brilliant. Okay, I probably need about five more pieces, so let's have a look. Now if I take that one out, take that out for now. Drop this wall straight down here. One more piece. There we go. Got a select row there, can move that whole row down. Again, I need one more piece, really. Bugger. Okay. Uh, oh, take that piece. There we go. That might be a key. That might be a good place for a spring trap, actually. Right there. I'm gonna chuck a few bombs in there as well. Cause that's a key place to attack from. There we go. Maybe a couple of bombs in here. Bomb or two in there as well. I'm going to spread out my seeking air mines. Okay, before we carry on, let's recap. I could maybe make this base look a bit more aesthetically pleasing just by making a few changes. 
But let's just go through what we've done and see if there's anything obvious that I can move to or rearrange to make it a bit better. Um, I don't like the fact that that's on a bit of a strange triangle there, but actually, here's an idea. I'll take you, put you there. That means that, that that's going to have to be there. So now let's think. I can trade that for. Haven't got an arch tower up here, so I'll take that one out. I'll take an arch tower there. I've got two arch towers next to each other down here. Take that one there. There we go. And I'm going to move. Look, this this isn't. I'm not doing this design for someone to come in and just copy me. What I'm doing it for is to show you how I trial and error it until I get a base. Um, okay. So let's put our seeking air mines down. Where could people try and come in from a giant <coughs> healer? Maybe top. Maybe the right hand side. So I'm going to put an air, a seeking air mine there. I'm going to chuck my. I've got one there, I've got one there. Can anyone see my other balloons? Not that you can answer me. Yeah, I've got one there as as well. Could do with one to the right over here. So I might take that one. Take that one there. Actually, no, because there's a wizard tower. The wizard tower does good damage against the uh, minions. That's all I was thinking. So now, people can take out those. Now now we've done the inside, we're going to look at the outside. It's, this is a bit you can do quite quick and easy. So first thing I'm going to do is throw my army camps down. Now I want to do it so I'm trying to cover... They've got quite high health, so I want to try and cover uh, my elixir. Because I don't I don't want to give it, make it a give-me a give -me for people, you, you know them to just take it for freeze so I'm going to tuck in some buildings around so they have to kind of work for it uh, same with my defensive buildings now I like to keep my barracks all together where do I want to put my barracks I have my barracks yeah I'll have them down here so one two three four then I can have my dark barracks uh, one, two. Then we can bring in our army camps again. We could have two down this length actually. Uh, there they go. Or even three. There we go. Let's bring that off centre. Chuck a couple of builder huts in there. I don't know, I'm just going for it now. Bell factory there. Builder. Other builder. Uh, okay. I'm running out. So you can just basi basically gather what we're doing now, putting the rest of the buildings around in some... Ah! Fourth air bomb. I can have him in there. Sweet. Build a hut. Sweet. Now we have got a giant bomb. Hmm. Just thinking where a giant bomb might be useful. So we've got one there, one there. Where might people want to attack me? Top. Create a space. Can you fit in there? Sweet. There we go. That's a, that's my village done. Just to recap, air defences they're in a triangle, they're quite difficult to get to or that that one is, that one really is uh, we've got a um, our mortars 
it's difficult slightly difficult to get to they'd have to break through but by the time they did that we'd have one and two uh, very interested in what was going on down there um, and the wizard tower um, so we've got our mortars in a nice triangle as well covering a good portion of the base which is the key our wizard towers are A next to the gold storages there's maybe a slight weak spot down here um, but the wizard towers are in a slight triangle as well um, our dark elixir is um, very safe it's right near the centre so is our clan castle um, to make it very difficult to I mean if you were trying to lure troops out there where would you even start <laughs> maybe to the right down here might just make it a little bit harder for them to get in um, Barb King as well I mean his range is not going to be before by those army camps for sure so people are going to struggle to lure Elixir they could try and take some from down the bottom if they wanted uh, that's it's, I'm not going to lie it's not that hard to take some Elixir but I don't really care at this time the one is quite difficult to get to as well so in my opinion if I saw that base I'd think that's a well that I think that's a respectable base so I'm going to save that keep my changes and we'll do it let's have a look see if anyone said anything we just redesigned base live there we go so let's have a look at let's rate someone's base Sween you're close right so this is Sween's base let's have a look at how he's done and rate it for him sorry about this mate <laughs> but I'm picking on you He's done the same middle bit as me. Can you see the wall is he's done the middle um, clan castle and then either side and he's got an air defence and mortar in the middle as well. So his mortars are nicely triangled and quite difficult to get to. Um, wizard towers are in and around the gold storages. That's good. In a, some form of triangle as well. And obviously he's farming got some extra wool there mate yep 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 and I see what he's doing he's creating a, a barrier around so that people when they drop troops they get lured into dropping them right next to those uh, giant bombs which are quite effective obviously Sween is uh, get getting quite close. Well, getting quite far into town hall eight. Although he hasn't, he's yet to start his level eight wall. Which oh no, I'm wrong. There we are. He has started it. Fair play. Yeah, I mean, I'd get, I'd rate the space relatively highly. It's a uh, nice design. It's got some, an element of symmetry to it as well, which is always nice if you can do that. And um, the key components are covered. Ah, well, actually saying that. The biggest weakness in this base, I think, is air defence. Because triple lightning that one, so it's gone. And then archers can get in and take out that one and that one if they've got enough archers. Maybe some clan troops, Barb King to distract, something like that. And then it's quite vulnerable to a dragon raid. So if I was to advise Sween, I'd give him a good 8 out of 10. Um, maybe, and I'd worry about your air defence and maybe... Sl redesign it slightly to uh, to make sure your defences maybe took one more of those def air defences is tucked in um, maybe shuffle around let's have a think how I do it potentially use all that extra wall you know to build in an extra s compartment or something or just make it more difficult um, and maybe swap that cannon and that air defence that might be the best way to do it maybe that air defence was there uh, and because it's building he's moved it to the outside I'm not sure anyway that would be my base review for Sween I'll pick one more person at let's have a go I need, I'll need. i do someone relatively high level someone who's not going to kick off at me no I'll do, I don't know this one I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to visit it 
This guy's relatively new to the clan, so we'll see how he is. Okay. So he's Tamalite, same as me. So he's a lot further behind on wall. He should have, if he'd have upgraded Tunnel 7 properly, his wall should be all purple. And he should be trying to get the rest of it purple. So he's got a good chunk of it purple, but he's got a lot of wall that's pink and even gold. So his wall is behind. So that's point one. Point two is air defence isn't max wasn't max for town hall seven because you can get it to five um, and that that lower town hall fence uh, that lower air defense he must be starting to build it up as well um so in terms of his levels they're quite on point for sorry the air the arch towers and cannons are quite on point for where he needs to be in um in town hall at the start of town hall 8 should we say his mortars are level 5 they can all go to level 6 on this level so they're okay concern here is that th three lightnings placed right by that wall there will take out all three of those uh, those defenses and therefore be very vulnerable to uh, an all out barb archer army from the top looks like it's quite easy to get 50% on this base as well that's the other concerning thing so, his Barb King is quite easy to lure. His Clan Castle is very easy to lure. His Hidden Teslas are all level 1. They should have gone to level 3 on Town or 7. Um, Wizard Towers are relatively... Four's, 4 is where they, I think they start. They finish at Town or 7, so it's not doing bad. Obviously, I need to start upgrading those soon. Actual design... It's, so it's all about Dark Elixir, obviously. His drill and his storage are right there in the middle. He's got his Kings level 2 already. Has he got any Dark Troops in his camp? No. Uh, just so I could have checked what level his minions were to see if he's... Cause it, it seems to be all focused around Dark Elixir, to be honest. But the main the air defence is quite well protected as well, apart from the bottom one. But they have to work to get that. to get. Th they have to go through the town hall, etc. to get to that. Um, so it's not not too bad at all. Um, my main concern would be to finish up leveling up, and that clan castle is really badly located. I'd even consider a switch in. I don't know, I don't know what I'd pull out. It's difficult because it's been designed quite tightly. Uh, but yeah, so I'd probably give this one more of like a five out of ten because there are some good points however uh, there are some alarming things like being able to easily take out three splash damage in a couple of even two lightnings would probably do that and that's not even a joke if they're level four or five um, for that factor defences and wards are quite low as well clan castle and barb king are quite easy to lure so there's a few sailing points that um, lower this score a bit uh, and but other than that it's not too shabby, I've seen a lot lot worse Town Hall 8, trust me anyway I hope that helped somewhat in putting how you would next approach redesigning your Town Hall now obviously this is a farming design so if you wanted to do it have your town hall in the middle a lot of the same rules apply to be honest you need to be a bit more selective with your wall um, obviously I've got had some I've been able to put some mines in there's quite a few spaces so you, you might need to design it a little bit differently but uh, yeah if you want to have your town hall in you might need to sacrifice having your clan castle I well, know your clan castle is one of the most important you might have to have your barb king closer to the edge or something like that but uh, yeah, I hope that helps someone, and uh, let me know what your thoughts are, comments or anything. Thanks for watching.